Hey y'all, Joseph Lippert here, and we're gonna do a quick walkthrough of this new robot I built here. It's won a whole bunch of competitions, and it's been really competitive throughout the past few weeks, and I wanted to build one, see how it worked, and see what we can do to make it better. So, let me show you what I found. All right, so first up, we're gonna start with our intake right here. Now this intake is really standard. It's just a bunch of rubber bands on this rubber band roller, um, this anti-slip mat around it to keep it from getting tangled in the other robots. And then um, it picks up the blocks really well. So if we just turn on the intake, pick them up just like that. Move on to the conveyor here. We've got these funnels right here to help funnel the blocks into one at a time as they get towards the top. Um, in general, more flaps is better. The longer the flaps, the better. Um, cleaning the flaps can help if your flaps are not working too well. Um, but yeah, just like making these flaps spin as fast as possible to help the blocks go up the conveyor is really the key. Now, once they get to the top of the conveyor, you are spinning the conveyor, but not this. This is on a whole separate motor. And so, you can see the blocks kind of get stuck right there. And that's the whole point. So you can carry a whole bunch of them, like seven-ish, in this uh, bottom conveyor area and intake below. And then, once you go on over to the long goal, then you can score. Just like that. Now, lining up the long goal is really important because this uh, triangle right here will help you do that. And so often it can be hard to line up correctly. And so this triangle, if you run into the goal offset, offset it'll like, um, it, it'll help line your robot up just like that. And so that way you can score and get them in there. This robot can score from a bit of an angle too. If you're like that, it'll still score. Um, in general, the more rubber bands you have on this top roller, the better it'll score. So I could probably even use a few more than that. That's the overall scoring. Now, let's say you want to score in our middle goal over here. That is uh, pretty easy as well. It's just intake a block. Um, right here, we have a piston that can go down like that. And so all we do is do that. And you can see that the block went through this area that was freed up because the rubber band was being pulled back by the piston. And so the block just flies through there into the goal. The bottom goal is pretty self-explanatory. You just take the block from your intake, just spin your intake backwards, and it'll go into that long goal. Now, next we're gonna talk about our match loader. Our match loader is really important and also really cool because it, it rotates like this. And the reason that's so important is because that helps it. So when it, once it goes in here, the balls are gonna push down on it and they're gonna rotate like that and they're all gonna fall down the ramp. Now, let's go ahead and see this match loader work. So if we just turn on the intake. There we go. If you're like, this looks really cool, but I'm not really sure how to make the blocks go through the robot. I'm not sure how the conveyor system works, the intake, the match loader, something like that. Click the link in the description below and I'll send you a whole bunch of pictures on all that and all the details to help you get that working. And then you can retract it back. And then all you need to do is go up to the long goal over here. And there we go. And then now the long goal is like full. So we can use this little plastic piece up here to just and we've descored a whole bunch of them. Get some more speed, you can descore even more of them. So that's pretty much all that you need to know there. Make sure you have one of these plastic pieces. They're excellent for descoring and you can't win a competition without one. Um, yeah, as far as the conveyor goes, one last note on that. You can see the floor is all just rubber bands. Some people use zip ties, those work too. But just making something um, kind of squishy for the ball to roll along as it goes up that conveyor is gonna be really important there. Uh, one more thing about the center of gravity on this robot. You can see the bottom of it. We got all six motors right here. And then we have our battery and our air tank right here. Every, all the really, really major heavy things. Also the brain is like right here on top of all that. Um, all those are right at the bottom of the robot, all pretty centered. So this robot is not tippy at all. I mean, it can tip a little bit, but like it's in zero danger of ever tipping over. Um, so that's all good there. We've got plenty of cross braces across. We have our high strength shaft down here. Um, nothing else on the bottom, otherwise it'll interfere with parking. So we have a, another cross brace right here, another one right here that goes all the way across. So that's what you need to know about the Rigwan design over here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget that there's pictures in the description below. 
and leave any comments uh, about any questions you have, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.